I hate my mom and dad's days, and I really could go for some enchiladas. Hey, Rick, that's pretty cool. I got a car full of groceries. Hmm. Anything else? I also went to the video store and got Garfield, a tale of two kitties. My favorite cat in the whole wide world has personally autographed it. Right there. What's it say? Garfield. <gasps> it's in the form of a question. I say it with a lot of sarcasm. Eh. I don't do Mondays. I, I got it. I remember this song, and I remember this cat, Garfield. This son of a bitch hates Mondays. Enshrined here are the greatest stars of feline comedy. Stars like Helix. Garfunkel. I never should have rescued her from that tower in the first place. I hate Mondays. Come on, you can drive. Big Garfield fan, huh? Me too. What's happening, handsome? Come on, we're both grown-ups. Don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Quit complaining! My body rejected your liver, and now I've got Garfield syndrome. Oh, I hate Mondays. Love the attitude, Harry Potter. We're <laughs> acting like Garfield on a Monday. <laughs> so what if they don't like it? What can they do to me? Garfield and friends will never be seen again, so that we may bring you a new series about housebreaking snails for fun and profit. Okay, okay, you made your point. Garfield or love it? Oh, I prefer the cat. He hates Mondays. We can all relate. <laughs> Sassy pants? <sighs> Mondays. Gabriel and friends? That's right, I'm taking over. He's got my show! If you are a cat, prove it. Do you hate Mondays like Garfield? Meow. And do you love lasagna like me? Meow. Okay then. When I get home, I'm gonna frame a bunch of stuff I love. Like lasagna. I love lasagna. It's so good. You know who else loves lasagna? <laughs> Garfield. Maybe I should put a picture of Garfield in a frame. Hi, just grabbing some lunch. Oh, you brought yours. Great, have a seat. I'd spent an hour and 15 minutes in traffic getting here. Granted, it's in a Benz, but this is horse <laughs> Oh, fuck you. You know what, I'm going home, okay? You can kiss my ass. I was in Garfield, mother Fire the photon tomatoes. Photon tomatoes away! No, no, don't touch anything. I'm this close to connecting Garfield to Jesus. Are you drinking moonshine? No, that's disgusting. That's my urine. And the newest fat sweeping the nation, little dolls of Gabriel stuck inside car windows. He's got my merchandising! Hey, mister! Me? Hey, I want your autograph! <laughs> hey, that's not how you spell Garfield! Yo! Listen to me.
his name Lorenzo Music? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. He also did the voice of that one guy from Ghostbusters, which is really strange because it's the same character Bill Murray played in the movie. But then when they made the movie, Bill Murray did the voice of uh, Gazorpa or Garfield, I mean. Yeah, that's pretty cool, Rick. <laughs> Sorry, Odie, but you're in the wrong cartoon. Maybe a lot of the show's intrigue came from the fact that it sounded like most of the bears ate your favorite cartoon characters. Like Garfield. He's more homesick than we are. Tails! You may have lost me when you mentioned the Garfield movie! But Sonic, I'm trying. You know we don't bring a piles of iron candy horror into our house. But Sonic, I'm trying. You know how much those movies give me god awful nightmares with Garfield's freaking hideous looking face. But Sonic, I'm trying to. You know it is ungodly evil to bring up the disease that is the Garfield movies and it's perfectly calm household. Shame on you, Tails. Shame on you. Sonic, that is not what I'm talking about. Boop. Cursive. Yeah, we're doing cursive. Garfield? How did you get Garfield from Cursive? I don't know. I just want lasagna die. Oh, me too. Both of y'all shut up! You're a bad teacher, you know that? I want a divorce. And they all have amulets from the Hikawa Shrine. I bet they went over there, because they're all in love with someone. Well, Blackish, I'm not giving you the money. I'm not, you ask every year for this stupid game. Every year, you should know to have the money's ready. <laughs> I'm not buying this stupid game. Where are we going, fool? I'm gonna ship you far away. Somewhere in this favored land, the light is from the stars. The people turn the ball game off and watch their VCRs. Cody, you're right! It's a live oil! Yeah, live oil's just like olive oil, but it makes food come alive. My mom accidentally used this on some lasagna one time, and it wouldn't leave me alone for a week. We had to hire Garfield to eat his ass. Who the hell would make something like this? Your assignment is to fetch, see what I did there? The Klopman Diamond, a mysterious gem of untold power that legend has it is located near Monster High. Morning, Garfield. I don't do mornings. Good, then that's my box of Honey Nut Cheerios. Breakfast. Praise for the taste. The Honey Sweet Taste. Honey Nut Cheerios! Buzz the Honey Nut Cheerios, the honey sweet part of this complete breakfast. You race for the taste! Mario <laughs> Bros! Hey, 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 back off! I have pepper spray! Uh, uh, no, I need you to ship a package for me. What? That's not how this works. You have to go to the store and ship it. But all the stores are closed. I need to ship this right now. Where? To Antarctica. Mario Bros! Don't send me to Antarctica! What? Is there a person in there? Uh, no, uh, just, just ship it to Antarctica and uh, have a nice day. Mario Bros! Okay. It occurred to us that some of you might like to meet this cowardly duck in person. Wait, he's introducing you. And no chance, no, no, no chance. What? Coconut bra! Deal. Hmm? What? Okay, Mr. Cat, let's not get too excited. Garfield! Go right ahead. <laughs> You know, and I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, Mom helped me do the fruit, and I did the sewing. Oh, looking good, strong bad. The Chiquita Banana Lady, that's great. Oh, Chiquita, but for the last time, I'm Carmen Freaky Miranda. Is there a city nearby that will? No need, sir. We'll find that head case faster than Garfield finds lasagna. Oh, <laughs> sorry, my, my wife thought that was gangbusters. Besides, my favorite shows are... Ladies and gentlemen, Odie and Friends. Odie and Friends? We are very close to the end of civilization as we know it. Yes, we live our lives in fear, and no one lives in more fear than Wade Duck, as we discovered when we recently visited Orson's farm.
If you were a cat, I would have brought you a lasagna. But not as good as I'm going to when I tell you that your precious Garfield has no reason to hate Mondays. He's a cat. He doesn't have a job. Luckily, my favorite show is on. We now return to Garfield and Friends. This beautiful all-nylon designer sock is yours for a limited time only for the price of... Uh, for the price of... Gee, what a coincidence. That's about right. Mm -hmm. This calls for drastic action. Andrew's the one who flies up the handle whenever his agent sets up an audition on a Monday. Andrew Garfield hates Mondays and loves lasagna. Said I won't talk about it. She said drop it, Todd. Uh, he's even been denied lasagna. Oh. Well, anything can happen in one of Gabriel's Tales of Scary Stuff. No, you don't have tales of scary stuff. I have tales of scary stuff. You all right, man? Oh. Oh. All right. Can we get a baby wipe for Al? You did this to him. That's like a used car, man. I can't drop that kind of cash into a 13-year-old cat. Uh-uh. No. No. Negatory, good buddy. Not giving you no. Oh, no, like a cameo guest star? Like, uh, where's the lasagna? I just kicked Odie off the table and... Hey, where did the sheep go? He went, like, uh, into the shack. I'm just lying in bed, eating Cap'n Crunch, watching Garfield with you on Saturday morning. Uh, Del, uh, we said we'd never talk about that outside my apartment. <laughs> Welcome to D-Clan, Tanger. Why, hi, Garfield. I'm Heathcliff. I'm more romantic and have an accent. Ah, pause! Hmm? Time to call in the McDougal twins. Oh, I always wondered what Garfield would look like in a dress. Oh, no! It's him! Obey the rules, respect authority. A good citizen is what you'll be. You know, comics are cartoons too, Seth. Garfield? In the olden days, cartoons were called the funny pages. Only you read them in the newspaper, and they weren't really funny. I mean, what? The hell is that? How the fuck does that look Anything like what's on the box. That's not my pet monster, it's a fucking radioactive Garfield plushie. See, there, proof. Garfield's eyes look like a pair of tits. You were right. If you can punch through this wall, you really are Flash Gordon. You gonna do it? I'm gonna punch through it. Hey, why do I look so chunky? Don't blame the artist, blame yourself. And I'd probably lay off the breadsticks at Olive Garden. But I like the breadsticks. Anyway, that'll be 20 bucks. Okay, here you go. I mean, it's like if Homer Simpson, Garfield, Snoopy, and Al Bundy all procrastinated to the last minute and finally came up with these lyrics. I am the cat who hates Mondays. Mondays, the Mondays. I am the cat who hates Mondays. I'm Garfield, the Monday-hating cat. Originally, Bud Cord was supposed to voice Ralph, but then he was replaced by Lorenzo Music who would later be known as the voice of Garfield during the 80s and 90s. It does kind of stink, doesn't it? But then again, it's garbage, you know? Oh, the kitchen looks like a dump. The living room looks like a vacant lot with garbage all over it. Kids shows. Yes, I'm a cat, and I really am fat. But it's Friday, so I can deal with that. I hate Mondays. <laughs> apparently has the power to keep on growing until it finally transforms into Garfield's anus. The ants, of course, seize the opportunity to make a buck off of this and start charging money for people to see it. It's my fault anyway. The box said the color was called Garfield. Ooh. It wasn't even the cat. It was the president. Oh. 
Oh, and I read a book of Garfield cartoons and a book on Italian cooking. Snap out of it, sir. <gasps> Come out of the trance. No, 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 Charles, bad! I hate Mondays. <sighs> Guess I'll just have to remake it. Meow. Everyone pat my head. Good kid. Ow! Never mind. I don't want that anymore. Stewie, what does Peter have on his bookshelf? Uh, two Garfield books and the novelization of the movie Caddyshack. ma na 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 said Ty, sinking yet another ball. Hey, so, uh, what do we do now? Eat lasagna? Talk about how we hate Mondays? Do the thing where we put a whole fish in our mouth and pull out just the skeleton? Oh, heaven forbid. No, those things are just stereotypes. <laughs> Garfield at Large by Jim Davis. Now, as you can see in this panel, Garfield doesn't care for Nermal. But like him or not, Nermal is here to stay. Or is he? Let's read on. Never fear, Gary's not the only TV star they roped into this. It also features Amy Foster of Punky Brewster. But you may also remember her as Girl from that one episode of Garfield and Friends. being sent to Abu Dhabi again. And now, back to Garfield. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Going home. Hey! Hey! That cat is so weird. Uh. Show them I'm human. Oh, oh Pinky, <laughs> you get it all backwards. You have to have a million jump scares. Loud, obnoxious music. Constant movement with goofy faces. And of course, turn into some sort of giant monster that goes blah, 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 blah. Garfield, maybe. Get out of my Just put bloody it off area. The yeah, like I do with real cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi! Friends are there. <laughs> to help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Cat is stuck up and snooty, and dog is stupid and dirty. Like every other fucking cat and every other fucking dog character that I've seen in every other cartoon ever. Uh, Garfield. You got it, sister. Seriously? I put in a request. <laughs> <laughs>